Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you how to carry yourself out of low elo with Nasus top lane. For your runes, you're gonna want Phase Rush with Manifa with Transcendence and Gathering Storm. You can swap out Gathering Storm for Scorch. If you're playing against a target that has low self-sustain, something like Teemo top lane or even Vayne in the early game, that type of stuff, Scorch can be better against. You can poke them down with E. Secondary runes, you're gonna want Unflinching and Second Wind. For your three three stat runes, you're generally going to want to take Ability Haste, Double Armor, or Ability Haste, Double Magic Resist. We're up against a GP, so we should have actually gone Double Armor here. Instead, we accidentally took one Adaptive Force, but other than that, our runes are pretty slick. Second Wind's going to be giving us heaps of extra health back whenever he hits us. Your main power spike you're playing for before your first clear... I mean, before your first back is like 800 or 700 gold. It's really what you're trying to do. You're also trying to manage your mana flow. There we go. Got our first stack going on. Does about 100 damage. So we can click on that minion and see its health. We're taking a bit of damage. I'm just testing to see if he's actually going to pressure us. And he is a little bit. When they start doing stuff like that, you can start trading your Q, auto attack cues on them but for now it's all right second wind's already healed us 24 health d shield's healing us and he's pushing the wave to us which is beautiful it's exactly what we want he let us walk up and take that for free he's pushing us off that one i don't want to chunk an e on him even though my mana flows up because i don't want to hard shove the wave so i'm going to let him hit it a little bit more before i do now i'll get it on him get my little mana flow on your first back, ideally your mana flow will be all the way stacked up to 250. So like right now we only have 25 on it. Got to back off of that. He's taking a lot of minion damage when he stepped up to hit us there. Fighting for bush control right now. Our mana flow is about to be back up. So then we're going to chunk it with an E. You don't have to do it every single time your mana flows up. Optimally, you're at least getting a minion with it. And you'll be setting up your uh, the wave a little bit. like Because if you eat every single time your mana flows up, you'll literally just run out of mana. Hit him with the wither. Auto attack Q. Just need to get some autos on this guy. Nice. That was a beautiful gank from the Kiana there. It's actually fine that she left because I'm about to reset myself. The wave's in a decent spot where it's frozen. He has a minion advantage, so it's going to be on him to try to shove the wave in. If he does not shove the wave in, he's going to be very sad. And we have just enough gold for our first item, which is Sheen. I'm going to TP back in. We're not quite full mana yet. I'm going to drop an E on him for the mana flow auto attack Q reset. Kian is about to be here as well. I'm not eat, eat my potion here. I know he's about to drop a barrel on my head. I'm gonna hit him with a wither. I'm gonna ghost him down. I'm gonna auto attack cure reset, get E on him. And we got the kill again, awesome. Burn our ghost for that. You don't have to play Nasus this aggressive. The only reason why we're even doing this is because we're getting ganks. Otherwise, we'd just be chilling near our turret and farming. We do want to shove this in, so I'm going to drop my E on the whole wave. Don't expect to literally hit every single last minion with a Q. Your Q cooldown gets lower per level and obviously per item ability haste. We just got our wave reset by dumping that underneath his turret. Next item we're going to be looking to get is your Kindling Gem. Kindling Gem is super, super valuable. In this case, I can't quite afford it. I, or, so I'll just get that. I'll grab this. We could even grab a refill. Refill would be decent. If they're poking you down a lot, you can go for it. Or even grab one health potion. But ideally, your second wind and D shield will be keeping you close to full HP. The second one's already given us back 200 health, which is a lot. We only have 250 mana flow since GP's been dying a lot. We've also been trying to conserve our mana. 
So we only have 150, it stacks up to 250. It's up right now, I'll go ahead and poke him with it. I also tried to get that melee minion. Yeah, his barrels are only doing so much now. We're gonna auto attack Q reset. Get that extra healing from our passive, the life still. We can pinch off an auto then Q, we're maximizing that. I stalled out the wave a little bit for my minions. Now I'm gonna pull back. Got 294. I have to pull back. I might actually end up missing this cannon, which would be heartbreaking. Okay. Oh yeah, I missed it just barely. It's putting it's putting a lot of pressure on us right now. Now that we have our R, we can all in him. This is a huge, huge power spike for us. Vex is coming, so I'm actually gonna try to like distract him. Vex is coming all the way up. I'm gonna drop Wither on him early. Auto attack Q, we got R on. Broke his barrel, got phase rush speed up. And we're gonna finish him off with a Q for a beautiful plus 12. Last hitting champions with your Q, big monsters or big minions. You can see that beautiful plus 12. Every Nasus is wet dream. We're doing about 332. You can see that in the upper left corner, the minion's current HP. Oh, wow, we're... Oh, Kane, that was sneaky. We got his flash at least. I wasn't paying attention to my mini map at all. And that's why I died. Cause I was giving you a little monologue about last hitting with your Q and making sure you're going to land it. Cause if you've used it once, you know what it's going to do the next time. But yeah, we almost suicided in the turret so they wouldn't get the gold. Kane had flash, so he killed me. We'll go ahead and grab our phage now. Actually, we'll get Kindle and gem and boots. Kindle and gem boots will be best. Once you finish divine sunder, you're disgustingly strong. Even if you have zero kills, let's say you're playing against a Riven or Irelia top who's up a little bit of CS on you. Once you get your Divine Sunder, they can't fight you anymore to the death. If your R is up, they just can't. They need ganks at that point. The power spike is... They can't surmount it. It's just too strong. You'll see that here in a second. GP's not that much of an all-in fighter though. He's just more of a bully and poker. I can heal off a lot of his damage though, like you see. Most of his damage isn't sticking very meaningfully. <clears throat> so do about 333, or is that 370? It's about 376. So we already have an idea of like what minions we can one tap. We can actually one tap range creeps even if they're full HP at the moment. A really good spot to do so. Kiana's coming up for a gank. We're gonna get an early, early wither on him. We have the phase rush speed up. Auto attack Q. That's another plus 12. Very beautiful. And we're in, we haven't been very gankable. If you look at our positioning in this lane, with how we've been manipulating the wave, we've kept it in a spot to where realistically there's no way for Kane to gank us unless they're gonna dive me, but we've been full HP majority of the time so gp's kind of reaping what he's sowing that's one of the disadvantages of playing a early game aggressive champion like team or gp you are tempting the enemy jungler to show up and give you some issues and max our w second it's the best especially if you're playing against melee champs you only really max e second if you're playing against a champion that's building zero sustain items like teemo where you can literally just chunk them out of lane with your e's alone GP's got corruptions and he's got his orange to heal off of to where maxing E second would be really pointless. My Q is only on a 3.5 second cooldown right now. Ooh, took a turret shot. Our gathering storm just kicked in. That's really funny. An extra 580. Oh, baby. About a 175 gold stat. I'm try to pull back. Tempt him to step up a bit. Now that she's coming in, I'm gonna run up. I'm pretty sure he doesn't have, uh, just broke his barrel. Yeah, he doesn't have flash. And since I have phase rush, I can stay on top of him. I highly recommend trying phase rush, guys. There's not many Nasus mains that take phase rush. There are some, 
but I think it's the best by far. It's super easy to use and it gives you outrageously consistent results. And don't take flash, take ghost. This turret's about to go downtown with an auto attack Q. And I think that gives us plus three, it counts the turret as a minion, kind of funny. Oh, this is really bad. For me, that is. I'm just gonna ghost in a way. He let me go. I guess he was scared. My Q doesn't cause that much mana. I had mana for two more Qs. I'm glad I didn't die though. Took jungle pressure, took their mid lane pressure. I think Kane's just trying to get a second form off me. He may even be going red Kane with dark cars. You never know with Kane players. Got Divine Sunderer now against their team. They're super AD heavy. I'll just go for Ionians into Frozen. This is why it's 66% win rate build. You get, we have a 50 ability haste right now. And you may say, well, what about your tenacity? Unflinching gives you heaps and heaps of tenacity, guys. If you're low on health, it gives you 30% tenacity, which is like having Merc Treads. So that's really good. You don't really need to build tenacity on Nasus. As long as you take unflinching or you take tenacity into precision tree, you'll be fine. And the thing is, tenacity doesn't interact with suppressions or displacements anyway. So if they have a bunch of suppressions and displacements, like if they have a Yon Yasuo with a singed Zen Zhao type of thing, like they have over seven seconds of CC and your tenacity won't inter interact with that in any way, shape or form. So about 616. I can nearly one shot melees. I just got all, all of them once if they're full health. Yeah, he's not able to do any real damage to me now. Kane's bot side, so is Aurelian Soul. Always be looking on that mini map. Do something, GP. Swing, buddy. <laughs> he's not going to. Auto attack Q. Beautiful reset animation. I need to get a ward down. This is getting a little hairy. We're up super far with no vision and I don't see anyone on the map. We just got to back up a little bit. Get another point to our W. Our R is up so we could probably take a one on two, but I don't think I can win one on three at the moment. <sighs> Big Q. Ah, uh, couldn't reach it. Rallying Souls mid. Ashkin's bot. Makes me feel a little safer. He's not willing to actually shoot his barrels because he'll be burning mana to only hit me right now. There, he was trying to hit me and the minions, but if he can only hit me, I can heal this damage off. 678. Your E does shred armor really good against champions minions don't actually have any armor or magic resist so against minions it doesn't actually do much but if you ever played nasus jungle you pay attention to your the damage differential when something's under your e versus when your e's on cooldown because that affects your last hits 709 he's only at 350 health i could potentially tp don't really want to though rather just stay here while two of them are bot side or really soul is missing I'm gonna go ahead and leave, just in case he's getting any funny ideas. I don't know where their cane is. Once you break vision for a little bit, people are less likely to gank you. So if you can just hide off in the shadows for three to 12 seconds, people are more likely to leave you alone. 2.2 second Q right now. <clears throat> that is solid as heck. At 350 <clears throat> Q farm, we could almost solo win this game from here on out. They have a bit too much CC for me to legit 1v5 because of Agar Cage. Other than that, this is gonna get super, super uh, scaling from here on out. Looks like Kane's bot side. Yeah, sorry, bud. It's time for you to die. I actually missed heaps and heaps of cues there. I, I, <laughs> I queued a minion once and I queued the turret. 
you got to turn on toggle champions only i hardly never use it because i generally don't have that issue but yeah i gotta gotta turn that on right there so you don't accidentally queue the turret i could have killed him with three queues but like i said two of the queues <laughs> didn't actually connect with him after you get your frozen heart yeah, I'll wait for Warden's Mill. After you get Frozen Heart, you normally go for Gargoyle, then Sterix. You go for the Frozen Heart for the, uh, mainly for the ability haste that you get. You can get 20 from it. Yeah, 20 total. So right now we're getting 10. Q is on a two second cooldown. It is a level five Q. Plus we have all of our ability haste. If your jungler's not in the area, you can take blue buff. She's not going to get it for a while anyways. Do I need to teleport over there? Probably not. My R is on cooldown. And I don't have Ghost. If you don't have R or Ghost, <clears throat> making TP moves on Nasus is not that good. You'd be better off just taking space on the map. Because I know their jungler was over there. Figure he's not going to run over here immediately. Might as well grab this. Got it. Got the plus 12. And we'll go grab that wave. Looking all in GP. He's got to come in behind him. He's running. He knows. Auto attack Q. Got the phase rush in. Auto attack Q. <laughs> oh, this is not going to go well for them. Kane's like, wait a minute. He's like, this doesn't feel right. Your Q does give you slightly more auto attack range as well. You cannot run me, buddy. I got phase rush. You are withered, my friend. He burned his flash. I, I am shocked they're not surrendering off that. I just basically took on three of them. It's not at the same exact time. We'll go play around our Kiana here. We're near a blast cone. Yeah, he warded the bush just in case. He knew something cheesy was up. He doesn't. He, I don't imagine he has another ward. Auto, oh, I was going to auto attack Q reset in there and I almost killed him. But he flashed. Hey, GP. I know you don't want to do that, buddy. I'm ready, dude. I want them to come for this ward. I'm ready to one verse three it. We're going to ghost for this. Wither E. And uh, I should have been a plus 12 rip. At least we got ghost resets. be taking that I'll be taking these as well doing about 829 there we go 800 flat when they're off my E 900 on the little ones the little ones don't have any armor or magic resist the big one did all right here we go uh, action it's your time to shine bud Hiding me out so hard. They're just hiding underneath their turret. If I had my R, then these guys would be getting it right now. It's time to go back to split pushing. I can't do much here if they're gonna three four man huddle under turret when my ghost is on a cooldown. Plus, I'm sitting on an extraordinary amount of gold right now. Let's finish dumping this wave. I'll, I'll TP for dragon fight or something like that. I don't want to overstay with my team. If your team doesn't need you, then they don't need you. That is phase rush, and he's trying to get me to hit the turret on accident, but I'm being a little bit more particular with my clicks. Oh, also I have Harold. Nearly forgot to use that. We can get all of our health back here because our 22% life still on the passive. Ooh, hey buddy. Like, I love that phase rush. Let's you catch up to everybody. 
I'd imagine more NASA's players will start taking phase rush in the near future as they realize just how good it is. It sets up so many plays for carrying or for just staying alive from ganks. I gotta get out of here now. Starting to run a little low on mana. My R's on cooldown, Ghost is on cooldown. I'm sitting on a crap load of gold. That's so dumb. That. Oh, hey, bud. Oh, come on, come on, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, we got top in here. Probably go bot now. Get frozen heart and a uh, nearly a Ford Gargoyles. I mean, we could just go for Holebreaker. Holebreaker would be really good. Can't quite afford it. Yeah, I'll go for Holebreaker. Holebreaker is really, really strong. I have absolutely nothing to TP to here. It's a little frustrating. I guess I'll just TP to try to save turret. Does he really think he can take that from me? It's like, bruh. My guy. Oh, GP, that was so dirty. GPR. <laughs> I guess it was worth for them. Ah, <clears throat> oh, it's so annoying. Just gonna walk up and take that. Thank you very much. I'll be taking this. I'm pretty sure this area is warded. Action laid a ward last time he was here. Get another E down before I go in for the big Q. That's a plus 12. I think we'll be able to get up to a thousand stacks. About 1100, just need one more. Nice. Kane's bot side, we can grab these mid waves. Ooh, no, Jin disconnected there. We can last hit every single one of them with our Q. It's on less than a two second cooldown. And when we're on our R, it cuts that cooldown in half. We're gonna keep going here. He's, he's just slowed forever. He has no tenacity and only has tier one boots. He's basically snared. Easy setup for Vex. Plus 12. Does Sol want this? Yes, he doesn't want it. I'm going to walk away. So yeah, with Holebreaker, you get a bunch of extra armor and magic resist when none of your teammates are near you. It also gives your large minions, so whether that's a cannon or a siege minion, extra damage against turrets. Yeah. So yeah, your nearby large minions get 140 extra armor and magic resist. So they get way tankier. So you can siege down turrets even if someone's trying to stop you. And they do increase damage to the towers. But that the enemies can't be near you for you to get that. And that's it, guys. They surrendered. Can't say I'm surprised, but regardless, I hope you enjoyed this Nasus top lane beginner's guide. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you guys next time. Listen.